So make sure you go to this web page smart2.ums.edu.my and after that key in your username password after that just click login so after you log in into your course this is the landing page okay. so make sure you read all the detail okay so make sure you use the official email of students if you have any question you can technical issue you can email to this address email address so usually if this is not your first time you can see the list of the course you have you have enrolled before okay. so the next thing you have to do is to enroll to the course for this semester so you just scroll up search course just search the course name Just go. Okay. Double check the course. Make sure the name of the course is correct, and also the session when the course is offer is correct. And make sure the lecture is correct. If you cannot find the course, then you have to stop here and then check with your lectures. Okay. So now, if you have found the course, just click on the course. So if you see this, then you can stop here and then double check with your lectures. So usually you will be allowed to enroll yourself to the course. So in most cases, this is how it looks like after you click on the course and then just click enroll me. And sometimes the lecture will set the password. So you need to ask a password from the lectures. So after that, you will come to this course page. Okay. So the user interface must might be slightly different depend on the lectures. For example, how many blocks? So this is what we call the block. How many blocks that lecture or make it visible to you? So basically you have two blocks that you can see by default, which is a navigation block where you can check the list of your course map. You can check, check the list of your course. And also the administration administration block where you can check your grade and also uh, do some setting in your profile. Remember, do not change your anything in your profile. Okay, because in your profile there are some very important information, for example, your student number and also your name. So make sure you do not change anything in your profile. So basically, what you see here is a course material and activity page. So it depends on the lecture's uh, setup. So in this case, the setup is a topic, so you cannot see the activity. If you want to see it, you can. You need to click on the topic. Then you can have the access to the topic. Okay. For example, this is a course syllabus. Syllabus. Then you can download and view it. This is a lecture note. You can download. And sometimes, uh, most of the lecture will embed. The additional resource, for example, from YouTube, Facebook link that for discussion group, and other uh, from the other platform, so they can insert the link here. So you have all everything in Smart UMS. You will make your life easy to navigate. So usually, most of the lecture that will enable the progress bar where you can see your progress. Okay. And there's a session link which you can jump to different section. In this case, different week or different topic. The activity. So this will be very handy. So for example, in this course, every week you have a, an assignment in the form of tutorial. And it will take you a lot of time to find each of them okay, in different week. So what you can do, you can click on this. So this is a shortcut. They show you all the assignment in this course. Okay, the information. You also can check all the forum. So this is a shortcut for you okay, to assess the materials. At the same time, you also have a message 
blog where you can use it to message your lectures okay or message your classmate so all the message that you send from smart ums will go directly to the email of the lectures okay and this consider the official communications so this is the common block that lecture will enable for you and there might be some other lecture might enable some other blocks okay. so you should discuss with your lectures what you think is important for you okay in terms of the user interface another very important feature is the administrations so you usually can see all the grades okay including your assignment quiz so you can grade click on this then you can see your grades book okay. so when you want to go back you just click on this link again the course page so after the general introduction to the interface i'm going to show you how to uh, interact with the material and content and also the activity so for example here we have the lean so you can click on the lean so it depends on the lecture some of the lean will bring you to youtube channel okay for their lectures or some other material okay well some of the lean is a continue. might be a website okay or link to any document in Google Drive. And for the resource, PDF or any file, you can just click and you can download the file to your computer. Then this is the most common resource. Then for activity, the very important one is a discussion. So you can use the discussion to discuss with your lecturers and your classmates. So to do this, what you can do, you can either add a new discussion. So they mean that you start a discussion topic or you can reply to any of the discussion that post by the lecturers or your friends. So to reply a discussion topic, just click on the discussion. Just click reply. Then you can write your message here. Okay. And you can attach some file. You also can insert image. Okay. There are more functions. So this is, and also insert table. Okay. So it allow you to discuss uh, your work with your lectures and other students in detail. After you have done, just click post to forum. Okay. Just wait for the few seconds. Okay. So this is the message that you have just replied in this forum. To go back to the forum, you just click on this link again. Just one step back. You can add a new discussion topic. Just click on this. Just write your su uh, subject. So make sure you write it clearly. So your classmates and lecturers know already what you, is your message. Okay, by reading the the title, and then write your questions in detail. Then click post to forum. And wait for a few seconds. Okay, so now you can see you have paused to a um, new discussion topic in the forum. So the next activity is the assignment, which is very common activity. So make sure you read all the instruction of the assignment. So after you click on the assignment, just click on the assignment. You will see the instruction of the assignment. When is the deadline? So you can edit or add your submission here. Just click on it. Okay. 
just open your folder where you keep your file in your computer just select the assignment so make sure you reduce the size of the assignment because the maximum size of your assignment is 50 megabyte so this size should be large enough for you to submit any type of assignment just click on your file in your folder drag and drop into the box here after that just click set changes And the next feature that will be very useful is that one to show you is message. So you can click on the message. Okay. So the message function is not only for this course, but it's for all the course in your Smart UMS account. So you can navigate the message according to the course, or you can search your previous conversation with um, your friends or your lectures. Mm -hmm. You also can view recent conversations. To send a message, there are a few options. So one of the options is go to the course page again. At the navigation block, you will see participant. Okay, just open the participant. Then it will show you the list of the lectures and also your classmates. So you can search the name for your classmate. Okay. So to send a message to lectures, let's say you want to send a message to one lecture, you can just click on the lecture name. Okay. Just scroll down. Here you can see send a message. You can just click and then send a message. Okay, just click send. And sometimes you want to send message okay, to your friends. What you need to do is just click on your name, the name of your friends. At their profile page at the bottom, you can at the bottom you can see send a message. So click on it. And then just send a message. 